Interpreting Clusters and Outliers, Scatter Plots, Lesson 14.1b. A cluster is a group of closely grouped data. And data may cluster around a point, like here, or along a line. An outlier is a data point that's very different from the rest of the data in the set. Here we have two clusters of data with outliers. So there's more than one outlier. We have one near 8, 3, and one near 6, 6 and a half. We have a cluster here and a cluster there. And there are clusters around, for x, it's around 3 and a half and 4 and 9, 8. Here we have a scatter plot, and if you look, it says rainfall in millimeters. And this is bushels of corn. So this is the output of the bushels of corn according to how much rain fell. It shows the amount of rainfall and the amount of corn produced by a farm over the last 12 years. We can describe the amount of rainfall and the amount of corn produced as mostly around 200 to 250 millimeters of rain. There is an outlier at 50 for X, 75 for Y, so that would be 50 millimeters of rain, and they got 75 bushels of corn. We can describe the scatter plot as having a positive linear relationship. It has a positive slope to it. There's also a gap between about 50 and 200 and about 300 and 400. This scatter plot has no clusters, no outliers, no gaps, and shows no relationship between the data points. Here we have a scatter plot of hours that went by and the number of pizzas that were eaten. The numbers on the x-axis represent the variable x on the table, and the numbers on the y-axis represent the variable y on the table, the pizzas eaten. There's no outliers, gaps, or clusters. The more hours that go by, the more pizzas are eaten. So remember, a cluster is a group of closely grouped data, and an outlier is a data point that's very different from the rest of the data in the set. And remember, a scatter plot may not have outliers or clusters. And the data may cluster around a point or along a line. We don't connect the points on a scatter plot with a line. It just shows the data that was collected. We're finished with part B. We're going to move on to the last part, determining association, positive or negative. We're going to look at the data points on the scatter plot to figure out if they're positive or negative. Have a great day and join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.